Hey, sixth graders, welcome back. Who's ready for another math lesson? We're going to do 5.2 today. It's called ratio tables. Okay? Ratio tables are a great way to organize information so that if we are curious, sorry, if we're a little bit curious about how to make a recipe bigger, how to create something that maybe you're going to make a scale model and how much bigger would it be. You can use ratio tables to kind of to figure those types of things out. Okay, One of the key things that we talk about with ratio tables is equivalence. Okay, And basically you hear the word equal in there. So we talked about equivalent fractions at the beginning of the year. You talked a lot about that in elementary school as well. So ratio tables show equivalence. When we look at a ratio table, we look at what is the relationship between the top row of a table and the bottom row. So we might have the top row starting at 1 and then going to 2 and then 3. The bottom row might go 2, 4, 6. And then we look at the relationship, how is it increasing, and how is, how is that relationship from the top to the bottom as well. So we're going to take a look at some different types of tables with our notes today. Before we get to our notes, we can use addition to and subtraction in a ratio table. We can also use multiplication and division. One of the biggest problems that I see kids have with ratio tables is they think that it is always just going up by the same rate on both of the top and the bottom, and that's not the case. We'll start with those types of tables, but then we will take a look at ones where I might multiply by 2, then divide by 5, and then multiply by 6, and then multiply by 2. So they're not always in sequential order from lowest to biggest. So we'll take a look at those, but at this point go ahead and write 5.2 ratio tables in your math notebook, and I'm going to leave you, flip the camera around, and we're going to take a look at another smart board lesson. See you soon.